Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We're talking about vital truth and how to share your truth and how to be more true to yourself because you deserve it. And the more true you are to yourself, the more powerful you are, the more manifesting you are, the more creative you are. Don't you think so? So um, there is an aspect or a place where you can express your truth. It's with friends in social circles. We checked uh, romantic relationships. Now we are going to check what you can do with any form of interpersonal relationship to uh, be more able to voice your truth and express it and be in accordance with what feels right inside of you. So, with friends, here is something that you can do. You can select some people in your circle and uh, give each other permission to be real and true all the time. Another way of putting, putting it is like you can call, call each other on whatever you feel is going on that is not truthful and is not honoring what you feel from them. For instance, sometimes you might see somebody and you feel like they are losing connection or they are losing presence or they are entering into an emotion of, of guilt and shame that has nothing to do in their field. Or you see them getting distracted by something and uh, losing their power in the process. So as a friend, you can be like, you know what? It looks like you're not being real to me right now. You're talking about all that stuff, stories from the past. I'm not really interested in hearing what you have to say. So, wow, you know, you, if you have a friend who tells you something like that, you can go like, wow, that's, that's really offensive, man. I'm just sharing something deep inside of me and you, you just stop me like that? You know, that's, that's offensive. Or you can say, because you have a, a blanket agreement between those two friends, between you and that person, you have a blanket agreement to be truth at, truthful at any time, what you, what you can do is respond to, oh, so I'm, I'm boring you with my story and check in and go like, why am I boring that person is because it's my story sucks. My story is not interesting for him to hear. I'm wasting his time or her time. And therefore he just shared his truth. And I, I should be like, oh, well, thank you for sharing your truth. Therefore, I, I'm not going to share that with you. Or you can go like, well, I'm never going to share with you anything anymore because you don't know how to listen. You know, enter into a reactive mode, which would be a big mistake. Because what they are saying is like, right now, I don't feel like hearing your story. These are the facts. They are not, you don't have to uh, create some form of uh, overgeneralization and enter into uh, some form of cognitive distortion about this thing. It's not, it's not a blanket thing that they are saying. They are just saying, right now, I feel bored by your story. Can you tell me, share something else? I'm not interested in hearing the story of your ex that I heard already 20 times. Okay, so the moment your friend said something like that, there is um, an opportunity for very deep connection right there because they just shared something that is real for them. They voice that emotion. There is an emotion in them, which is an emotion of getting bored with your story. And you, you go and you go and you check, wow. And that's an opportunity to connect. So here is an answer that... Uh, that uh, you can give your, your, that person when they share something. So you say, so is this an emotion that you feel all the time when I'm talking about my ex or just now? Just to explore the territory. They might say, no, actually all the time. I don't want to hear about your ex anymore. Okay, so that gives you an indication. And then you can say, so what is it that would excite you right now? And um, they might say, well, I want to hear you talk about that other girl or that other woman or that other friend because that's a person that I'm interested in. <laughs> you know, or they might say, uh, well, right now, actually, I don't, want, I don't want to be in conversation. I would rather do something else. Let's go for a swim or let's go surfing or something. I don't want to be sitting here in this bar talking about stuff. I want to, to move my body. Okay, so you see, they just share the truth and you are um, giving uh, them follow-up questions and exploring the territory of uh, what this connection is and what this moment is. And just by doing that, by accepting their feedback, you just gave yourself the opportunity to turn this day that would have been a little bit boring into something that is really exciting. Because suddenly your friend has the possibility to share their truth, you share your truth back and you say, yeah, actually going surfing would be fun, let's go. And that's it, within, within just a split of a second, you made the decision to shift the direction of your day to bring in fresh energy and be in a space of fun and inspiration rather than a space of boredom and victimization. And so that's, imagine the power if you were in that state all the time with all your social circle. 
So what I encourage you to do is not to start sharing hardcore truths with everybody just like that. I encourage you to check in first. Check for permission. You, you, you go with your friends, you have this conversation and you go like, you know what, I'm exploring something about the possibility of being more real with myself and giving you the permission to be more real. Would you like to play a game which is like having a kind of blanket agreement where we are allowed to share each other's truth and be real with each other any given time? Would you like to do that? And um, they might say yes or say, they might say no. If they say, yeah, that's something I'm interested in, then you can go for it and start playing. If they say no, you have to respect that. You go like, okay, well, it looks like uh, our relationship or our friendship is not going to dive into these dimensions and to this depth. Or they might say, well, you know, not all the time, just check in. If you have a hard truth or hardcore truth, I don't want you to, to hit me with it without surprise, without a uh, warning, because I might be, um, you know, I'm, I'm in a sensitive spot right now and I'm not able to take any more emotional challenge. So you see there is, there is there a whole territory to play, but what I encourage you to do is just try this. Try to have blanket agreements with friends that allow you to share your truth and be real with them at any given time, and you give them permission to do the exact same thing. Okay? I hope that makes sense. This is it for this morning for this uh, set of uh, Vital Truth videos. I'm going now to post all that online so you can enjoy the juiciness and the impact of all this wisdom that is coming out of my heart and my brain. And I love you. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.